So now let's carry on taking a look at some of these other tools here. This polygon tool, you can see from the icon that you need to define two points. One is in the center and the other is on the circumference. By default, the point on the circumference is on one of those corners. But you can change it down here to be in segment mode. And now you can see that the definition of the second point is on the middle of a line. So that's uh, often a key issue with these things because they consider the radius as being from the center to the midpoint. So the ability to change that is very important and it helps you define a different one. So now I can hold the shift key down and just click a radius there. Or I could type in the sides and the radius. So if I was to size three, now I'm drawing triangles, you see. Whereas if I was to have sides 30, then I'd be drawing close to a circle. Um, so usually, I think the default is 8 over there, but often you'll get 6 or 5, or 5 would give you a pentagon to define the number of sides before you draw the object. So let's just draw a four-sided object, so now we're drawing a square, you see. And then you can choose the radius or the side length. That's often an important feature as well with this thing. When you're drawing nuts, you don't care about what the size of this thing is, but the side length. So if you make that 5, and let's get back to that angle. If I keep pressing tab, I'll eventually cycle back to the, the one, or shift tab will get me backwards. Tab gets me the one way. Shift tab gets me the other way. And so now I'm on angle, I'll press in zero and hit enter. And then we can see we've got that. And when we select it, you'll see that those figures are in, uh, that's the full size. So I chose the side length over here. So let's do a quick measurement there. The two things that we're going to need to mention that we haven't mentioned yet. One is zoom extend. Right. Which will be a perfect example. The other is cycling through the objects that you've created with that. Okay, F7. we'll do that. Yeah, I'm just jumping the gun here a little bit. I'm throwing in a distance measurement, and I wanted to measure from a V there to a V there, and we can see that with, that's exactly the distance that I typed in in the inspector bar. And okay. the measurement info palette is on the right there. Yeah. The, one of the palettes. When you use one of these measurement tools, that's automatically going to come up. And we'll get back to discussing how to actually measure stuff that already exists in the drawing in a lot of detail later. Okay.